Today is super rainy, <laughs> so I'm taking my business affinity. This is from 22P, the soft baby pink. Then we have the the nano baguette. This is a little card holder. And then of course I've got my keys. The lipstick can actually go in the front there. Hard to close the bag with one hand. Thought I might take my espadrilles today. It is raining, but I will be inside, so I think it should be okay. So here is my outfit. <laughs> it's the first time that I'm wearing the <laughs> tweed trilly as a little scarf. I might actually add the heart truly charm on there just to see if it'll give it a nice detail. Wearing the Hermes sweater. This is the soft pink. It's rose pale. And then AG jeans. And then the espadrilles. <laughs> Sorry, there's stuff everywhere because I was filming and it got too dark. So I need to come home and film again. <laughs> So yeah, super casual look today. Let's see if I can put that on there. Oh my god, the Chanel label is too fat. <laughs> it wouldn't go up, so I'll either need to cut the label or try to rearrange it to <laughs> put the ring on this side. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I tied it here and then just tuck the end around the side. So what do you guys think? <laughs> Cute, right? Anyway, this is the outfit. I will need to be careful of my denim because I don't want to get it on the back of my bag. So I might just hold it today. So everything matches. <laughs> Pink is the theme today. Let's go shopping. We left after the rain stopped and got to the store maybe 30 minutes after opening. And as you can see, the line wasn't too long. So I think the most recent price increase definitely have deterred some shoppers. This skirt in the window is gorgeous. But I feel like you can sort of see your underwear <laughs> in this one. So you have to wear shorts or like a slip underneath. I do really love this belt though. This tiny bucket bag is so cute and I actually forgot to go have a look at this once I was inside. The price is 4,210. So this mini flat bag has the heart on the front. The dimensions are a tiny bit bigger than the square mini but it's yeah a lot narrower. This little bag has a bag charm on the front. Isn't that just so cute? I think this one will be quite popular. These ballerina flats with the 3D quilted design is quite pretty. I will be trying these on once I'm inside. We waited in line for about 20 minutes, which is not too bad for launch day. Love these leather shorts, but I think they're over $9,000. And this swimsuit I'm pretty sure is from the cruise collection. This pale baby blue colour for this season with the camellia adjustable chain. This wallet on chain style is quite nice but I think it's over $6,000 so I don't think it's worth it for a walk. Even the classic wallet on chains are now over $5,000. Can you guys believe that? <laughs> I remember when I bought mine for under $4,000 and I thought it was quite expensive. <laughs> this is harder to adjust because the two chains are very close together. You'll have to use both hands. This light grey is gorgeous. The small classic flaps are over $15,000 in Australia, which is just a bit too high in my opinion. This multicolored tweed is quite fun. I do quite like that one. Here are the super popular pink tweed sneakers. It is quite pretty, but once you start wearing it, it will most likely crease and dirt will very easily attach to the tweed material, no matter how careful you are. These sneakers are 1870 
what do you guys think of this pink from the new collection? This one has the camellia adjustment, a mirror on the top and a lipstick holder. So I just realized this is actually the light beige, not pink. They no longer have the prices on the price tags because apparently they had a price adjustment. So some of the pieces have actually reduced in price, which is nice, but <laughs> the price is still much too high. This square vanity is 4,450. I think that is too much for such a tiny bag. Just to put things into perspective, the Hermes Picatin is only $4,000. I don't know about you, but I would rather get a Picatin rather than a square vanity case. The leather on this mini flat bag actually looks a lot nicer than the vanity case. It is a shiny lambskin. The essay said it's calfskin, but after doing some research, it's definitely lamb. And this leather feels very smooth and luxurious super shiny as you can see here there are three grommets on the top which means when you shorten the chain there is no excess chain on the outside like the traditional pearl crush so I do like that design detail this pink is very pretty but more of a muted neutral pink I have so many pink bags, so definitely do not want to add any more pink bags unless it's a Hermes. You can see me demonstrating here. The chain is quite easy to adjust. The color is definitely very pretty in person. Wow, just look at these slim bags. They are covered in crystals. It is so sparkly. <laughs> but can you guess how much these ones cost? Yup, they are $4,700, which is just insane for a pair of shoes. Definitely interested in this flat bag with top handle. This is in the same shiny lambskin as the mini flat bag we saw earlier with the camellia charm. The chain is a little bit different as well. This bag is 9,070 Australian dollars. Isn't that just so absurd for a seasonal style? Let me know what you guys think. This strap is actually the perfect crossbody length, not too long or too short. Looks really nice handheld. And get this, the handle drop is actually high enough for you to put your wrist through, which you can't do that with the original mini top handle. Here is a color comparison between the 23S pink and my 22P pink. Which pink do you like better? Now this is actually the pale yellow from 23S. It actually looks like a little bit green on camera and also in person. I thought it was light green, but it's actually yellow. What do you guys think of this bag? I do quite like the design details, especially the Coco Crush rings on the handle. The capacity is okay, but it will not fit a phone. You can see me trying it on here. Because of the boxy shape, it does protrude out a lot from your body when you wear it crossbody. So I don't really like wearing this bag that way. It looks a lot nicer handheld. This bag is actually quite expensive. It is 8,260. The tweed versions are a little bit cheaper, coming in at 7,860. <laughs> you can see with some effort, you can put your hand and wrist through the handle. This bag here has a flat pocket on the front and then also a top handle and a crossbody strap. 
This bag I actually like a lot more than I thought I would. It looks really cute, handheld. But unfortunately, the chain is super super long. You can see me trying it on here. It's way below my hip bone. It would definitely look a lot nicer if the strap is shorter. Here are all the available fashion jewelry. As you can see, there's quite a lot of old season stock. I don't actually see anything new here. This little flat bag has the bow detail on the chain this time but i don't like how it's that accordion style because you can barely fit anything in there so basically just cards and maybe a lipstick that's how it looks on yeah just very average i think the black caviar one with the bag charm on the front it's the same design so yeah you can't really fit much in there the iridescent green from Cruise Collection. That's the patent leather heart pouch. So this is for coins only. It is very slim. It will not fit cards. I know some of you asked me. No, it is very small. That zipper detail is quite cute. It opens on two sides and it is actually leather lined inside. The clip does have the Chanel logo engraved on there. That is a huge heart necklace. Do you guys think Chanel is overdoing it a little bit with the hearts? Love these bow details. I've shown you guys the pink ones in a previous vlog. All these are not new. Oh, they do have the Chanel loafers in patent leather. <laughs> These look like floaties. <laughs> really don't get why they're so padded. I guess they would be comfortable. I don't like the look of them. My sandals from 23P. I decided to try on the ballerina flats. Really love that the inside is gold. <laughs> Isn't that just so pretty? But yeah, they don't have the 37, so it is a little bit too big. These ones are 1,700, but I still feel like I prefer my uh, white ballerinas from last year from 22S. That pair is definitely my favorite. They did have the pink and white tweed vanity cases in the window display. This color is definitely the best out of all the colors. Chanel Spring Summer used to be one of my favorite collections, but I don't know, this collection I felt a little bit disappointed. I don't know about you, but yeah, there was just like not many pieces that caught my eye and everything that did catch my eye, it's just so expensive. Like these Mary Jane heels, they are 3,400 for occasional shoes. That is just too much. Anyway, I would love to hear your thoughts on Chanel 23S. Are you guys still a fan of this collection? Judging by the poll results from Instagram, 60% of you are still a fan. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Chanel shopping vlog. Stay tuned for my huge birthday haul. See you guys then. Bye.